Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back. Chrome on Rust here with some more LOL replays for you. We'll go ahead and get things started talking about team, team compositions. Uh, we got a Jace for as our ADC. We got a Volibear jungling, which is myself. We have a Lux support and a least top and a Vyguard going mid. And on their team, we have a Pantheon mid. We have a Rangar going top. We have a Lee Sin jungling. We have a Kogma going bottom as their ADC and an Alistar support. As you can see here, both teams actually started out at the Wolves, going to the blue. It is nice being on the purple team. You can see they're able to have four players there to drop the blue. I do tell Vygar right here, I'm like, alright dude, I got it, no problems. Go ahead, get your uh, XP and all that. I smite, and he actually gets the last auto attack in, and he actually takes the blue. Uh, he sends out his apologies. I say it's all good, you know. Go ahead, do your thing. Use it wisely. So it's not a horrible thing. I do get a little bit less gold. I am there for the XP and all that. So it is what it is. So uh, I started out with machete and like five pots. That's what I like to do in the jungle. Uh, my route is to go from the wolves to the blue as you saw and then I'll go to the race, the golems, and then I'll hit up red and I'll be looking for a gank once I have my double buff there. If there's nowhere to gank I'll hit the race back up because they'll already respawn, go to the wolves and then I'll normally teleport back to town, upgrade my machete and pick up some boots. It does look like there's a little bit of poking going down on down here at the bottom. Not too much going crazy. Uh, Lisa is actually ta attacking Rengar. Rengar comes back in. I don't know what he's doing. He is able to slowly get away, but no. She flashes forward, at least that is, and she's able to drop him. And that is a very fir fast first blood. Not the fastest, obviously, but three minutes in, that's still pretty good. Alistar he headbutt pulverizes. Lux. Uh, she does act like she's going to run away, or I guess she wasn't acting, she really was if they were going to go on the chase, but Jace was there, and he was able to do a little bit of blocking. See here, a little bit of poking going on from Pantheon, he's got that really strong spear. Looks like there's some action going on at the top, Lee Sin, he shields, and oh, Lee is not able to get it, that shield actually did save his life, and it looks like they're going to actually drop Elise and shortly they will. We got some action going on down here at the bottom. And it's a one for one trade off right now. Oh no. He didn't die. Jace that is. And it's a two for one trade off. We have Lux still left on our team. Uh, I don't think you should have chased Jace that is to go in for the kill. If you can kill one person and have both your team alive, you're going to be able to push him pretty hard at the tower. And it's going to be a more advantageous spot for him to be in. So as I said, they were able to kill Luck or Elise, and she's down. She just respawned. Rengar is back as well. He's doing some, uh, he's doing a little bit of laning. As you can see, there was nowhere, nowhere really for me to go, so I did go with my original route. I go back. I upgrade my, uh, my, my machete, as I was saying, for the Madrid's razors. And as you saw there, Vigar was able to pick up the kill on Pantheon, and we we're up four to two at the moment. Sitting pretty, pretty well. Uh, Jace was just on his way back. As you can see, Vigar is just standing at the tower with almost no health. Not looking good for him. They are actually about to disconnect here in a second. And he is going to be able to run away. I do believe. Yes, he does. He's able to get away. He dropped just in time, actually. Uh, we dropped two people. Not very good. They did able... Or Lux did drop, actually. They ended up dropping Lux. Not good for her. I do see that, so I end up going down. Gonna pick up a little bit of slack going on here. Don't want him to push the tower too hard. Pantheon is just getting back in mid. So when Lux is on her way and I'm able to run away, I will. And I'll go up and hit mid. Which I do believe is exactly what I do. So we are fighting 3v5 at the moment. Uh, we're losing our gold edge. We had like almost 600 on them, and now we're down to 300, 200. And I believe we get within like 100 of each other. So uh, they did drop out at like 5.30. So we'll see here how, how long they're gone exactly. As you see, Lux is back. I'm going to go ahead. going to go try to push up top. Not going to let them drop that tower so easily. I don't think so. Uh, they are able to get a little sneak attack going on at least. She pops up in the air. And unfortunately for her, you do lunge at the, min or at the opposing team when you do that. But she is able to pick up Rengar. But... Lee Sin is able to dash in and get the kill. 
As you can see here, they are pushing pretty hard on Lux. I've uh, got some fighting going on here. I'm able to flick Pantheon into the tower, take a couple of aggro hits. And I wish I had my ult. I probably would have been able to drop him, but I did get the bite in. And I am forcing him to run away or use his last potion, one or the other. So Rengar pinging up top. Not very happy that Lee Sin is pushing his lane. That's something we'll actually see in this game. He does like to push a little bit too hard, even though he's not a laner. I'm just sitting here doing a little bit more jungling. Uh, none of the towers have dropped. We do have only a hundred gold lead on them right now, as I was saying. Almost 200, 150, 200, somewhere in there. And Vigar is actually able to come back. Jace very shortly does come back as well. Vigar is off. So I'm not going to have to watch mid for him anymore. And we'll end up seeing how much that helps. Well, it's not going to help, but how much that hurts our team. So as you can see there, they are pushing Lux pretty hard, causing her to not be able to get much experience. Uh, some fighting going on on top. Rengar is getting pretty uh, pretty ballsy, as you can say. Uh, he is able to flash forward and be able to get away at a pot popped that he was using, so he's able to regen that health, and he just, just uh, he just uh, he does just teleport away. Lux is able to get his alt off on Kogma, and it looks like they're going to force him back. Jason Lux going in for the chase. Alistar being the good guy goes ahead, takes a little bit of the aggro so they know that he's not going to take the damage. Or Congor is not. Kogma is not going to take the damage and Jace or Alistar will. Well, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry about that. So we do have a little bit of fighting going on in him here in mid. Pantheon was just dropped. Uh, Lee Sin. I did think he was going to run away, but he doesn't. He actually stands there, and he's going to push back. I see that. And so I'm going to go up and around, and if he does decide to run back, he's going to drop him. But no, Vigar is able to go in, stun him, and pop him in the face, and he is down. A little bit of action looks like it's going on in the bottom. Uh, Lux just missed her bind. She would have gotten that. That would have been beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so it's a one-for-one one trade there. Lux doesn't have her boots right now, so it's not looking good. Kogma is able to get the mortar, and is he going to drop her? No, she's able to dodge that mortar and get out of there, so Kogma does not go in. So I go ahead, I ping, I'm like, Vigar, let's go get the blue. But uh, he actually did just pick up the blue from Lee Sin from that kill. So I'm just kind of running around waiting for him to sit. We didn't even notice. That's why he started running over. And then he's like, oh, wait, I got blue. So I just go ahead, drop the, drop him, take the kill. Pantheon gets stun locked once again. Oh, not doing huge damage, but that's a big poke. That's for sure. So go ahead and do a... Uh, do a little recap here. We are getting our gold lead back on them. We're uh, sitting almost like 1,400 gold, 1,500 now. No towers have dropped for either team. Uh, we got our ADC. He is sitting at five mini kills. Not very good because their ADC has 43 mini kills. And our jungle, which is myself, I'm actually sitting six kills, seven kills now above their jungler. Our Lux is... Oh, got some action going on here. It looks like he's going to get away. Oh, Lux is all just misses. Jace goes in. He's diving again. Once again, he's, he's going to pick up the kill. He does, but it looks like that turret might get him. And the last shot, it is. It gets him. Uh, there was some action going on up here at the top as well. Rangar is able to... He wasn't able to get away. At least was able to drop him, but as we've seen in the, quite a bit, that Lee Sin was able to come in, get the kill... And that is that. Uh, if Elise would have said that she was getting dropped a little bit more, that she needed some help, I would have came up there. I haven't had very strong lane presence, but I haven't been dying as well. And you see there, Viger is able to just drop Pantheon like it's nothing. And Lux is able to push the tower pretty, pretty hard. So if you're not going to have real strong lane presence, you don't want to die. As you can see, I haven't died. I do have one assist. Oh, Kogma almost gets that mortar on Lux, but she's able to flash away and get out of there. And he's taking all those minion hits. Not a huge deal, but it is going to hurt him in the end. So we got Rengar leaving top. Looks like they're going to try to attack mid. Just hiding in the bushes there. 
I do see that Lee Sin's there, and he's just pushing pretty far forward. That's a good indicator that they are going to go in for the gank. The gank, and that's exa exactly what they do. Rengar charges forward. He's taking a lot of aggro from the tower. Uh, Rengar does stop taking the aggro, and luck or Lee Sin runs in, and he does take the aggro from the second tower, and I'm able to get the double kill. We do lose one guy. I wish I could have saved Vigar there, but it just didn't happen. So now we've increased our lead to 2.7k. And since there's nobody up at top, it looks like I'm going to be able to get close to dropping Pantheon. Elise is able to drop the tower though. You see Pantheon's moves aren't doing much. Very close to taking aggro. I back off. And I'm able to push him back or force him to use his potions. Once again. And it looks like Jason may be going to get the kill, but no he doesn't. They're able to drop him just in time. Lux Mr. Bind. And if she had her ult, that'd be a very good time to hit Kogma, but she doesn't. And that is that. She throws down the purple, able to take the ward. And that is very, very good on her part. So we got Pantheon here. He is pretty low. He's getting a little bit ballsy there. Elise is taking super hard aggro. And she runs away rightfully, and I'm able to pick up the kill. Good teamwork on her part. She didn't get greedy because she could have got the kill, but she wouldn't have been able to get away, and they would have had 300 gold, and we would have had 300 gold. But instead... We were able to get 375 goals for our team because she picked up the assist, I got the kill, and then she was able to get away without dying. Got Lee Sin once again pushing forward, trying to be aggressive, not doing a whole lot of jungling. As I was saying, he is trying to push the lane, and it looks like they're going to get him. Easy peasy, and he is down. A little bit of stuns and snares, and it's GG. So we do have the purple ward here, so I know that I'm not being seen. It's always nice to have a purple ward there. Gonna be doing some ganking from the river. That is exactly what I do. I go ahead, I flash forward, I grab him. He pulls me back, and it looks like he's just gonna get away. Flux had her alt at a perfect time to pop it. I do try to go in, but uh, both my teammates run back. They figured I wasn't gonna run in to take the aggro from the tower, but I did. So it's a little bit of miscommunication there. And you, so you can see again, they're just pooping all over Pantheon in the mid. So I come up, I end up seeing the blues back, and Lee Sin has dropped pretty recently, Pantheon has dropped, so I figured it's going to be pretty safe to go ahead and take it. You can see Rangar's up there at top, dropping the tower. So I go ahead and grab blue. I see they're pushing forward, got Vigar there. And he goes ahead, comes out of the bush. If you'd have just waited maybe a little bit longer, we might have been able to get both of them. I come in, and we're able to drop Alistar, and he's down. And it looks like they're not actually able to get the tower. It looks like he backed off due to him being a little bit uh, frightened of not having any wards, not knowing where anybody was. So we do got Lee Sin coming down. It looks like he's going to try to throw a helping hand. He knows the tower's getting low. And they target Vigar, and he's just chilling up there. And yeah, it's not going to be able to do anything. Looks like Vigar is going to teleport away. And he thought he was going to run to the river, but he's not able to poke him. And looks like Viger's going to get away just in the nick of time. We do have three pushing pot. We have just Lux sitting down there. We have Elise pushing top. Viger is back to town, as I had said. Chase is still respawning. So it looks like they are able to push her away from t getting the XP from the minions. That is uh, pretty annoying when you're on bottom and you're soloing. Waiting for your team to respawn. They do target Elise up at top. See that she's pushing pretty hard, and Rengar's going in for the kill. And Lux is able to get the bind. Beautiful bind. She gets her alt off. And it looks like the alt's going to pay off. But, to, but she got dropped, and Rengar takes the last tower aggro, and he is down. They're going to try to push the tower. Doesn't have much damage done to it, so it looks like they're not going to be able to get it this time around. We do have Jace running in, and they have three people down there pushing. I don't know why... He's not in the mid. I know he's been getting uh, dumped on a lot, but you can't let your tower get dropped because it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen here. Got Jace able to force him away from the tower. Lux is back. Got Elise hunting down Lee Sin. That spider mine is not able to do anything, unfortunately. And as I said, mid is able to drop the tower. Elise almost gets her snare. She would have. He would have dropped. She would have been able to drop him pretty fast there. And it looks like we've got some action going on here at bottom as well. Nothing too crazy. Let's go back to the fight up top. Lee Sin getting really, really low. She pops moved. 
And she's able to pick up the kill, and I don't know if she's going to be able to get away from this one. Got Rengar chasing her. Action going on down at the top. Figer's able to get the stun lock and the pop. And Alistar is getting pretty low, pretty low. I'm getting low as well. And Lux pops her alt, and she's down. Rengar did end up picking up Elise up top. Figer goes in. He's being really aggressive. And he almost gets the kill, but he doesn't. Picks up the assist, and he's able to get out of there. And that is a good thing. Me and Lux are able to drop the bottom tower. And now we have three towers to their nun. Or yeah, we have three towers killed to their nun being killed. And we are sitting up six and a half K gold now. Now you can see we do have wards. They have one ward. Uh, I guess on our team we could use a little bit mo more wards, but we're winning so much that if we were to place wards, we want to start placing them in their jungle, the offensive wards. And you can see they just pinged all of our turrets there. Uh, I Yes, they're just saying that, hey, we got all of our towers up. We need to try to push one. Or they have all of our towers up. Them being the blue team, or myself. They need to push them. And they're not sitting very well. They got a huge goal discrepancy. Uh, the kills are 22 and 11, and things just aren't looking bright for them. And if you remember, we did have two people that had disconnected. And we're still able to pull this out somehow. Good gameplay. Oh, looks like Pantheon was able to get away, but he pump faked back and Vigar stunned just in time and he ran back into it and was able to pick up the kill. Pretty much two shotting him and he is down. Jace got three at the bottom. He's going to try to hold him off, push him back from attacking the tower. Lux comes in at the right time, pops the alt. They're getting him pretty low. Jace is able to drop Alistar. Rengar is getting really, really low. Looks like Rengar is going invisible. Yes, he does. He's able to flank around. He's going to try to go for Jace. Pogma is going to turn around here in just a second. He's able to drop him. And it looks like Jace might get out of this one, but no. Kogba Barrier is able to pick up the kill, and it looks like Lux is going to get the kill, but Kogba's more than dropping him fast. And Lux is able to throw her move out and pop it and shoot down and get away. Kogba's passive. So as you've seen, 19 minutes in, no dragons have been killed. So not a huge huge amount of teamwork on either team. We are able to drop it here. But uh, when you're 19 minutes in, you should definitely have killed the dragon a few times if your opposing team has not. And if they are, you want to stop them from that. Pantheon going in. Elise taking advantage of it, not knowing where she is. And it is a 2v1, so things aren't looking up for her. She is running. Pantheon going in. Looks like he's flashing forward as well. And we got three people up here. And she might end up picking up the kill from Pantheon. And yes, she does. A good pickup by her, but she's not getting away from this one. So trade off one for one. But as you see, Vigar saw what was going on. Does the stun and just drops Lee Sin instantly. So good map awareness on Vigar's part. That is for sure. So go for a little bit of a kill recap here. We got our Jay sitting at 4, 6, and 5. I'm sitting at 4, 0, and 3, and as I was saying, if you're not going to have strong lane presence, don't die. And that's exactly what I'm doing in this game, not dying. We have Lux sitting at 5, 2, and 5. We have Elise sitting at 5, 5, and 4. And we have Vigar sitting at 10, 1, and 2. As you remember, he did drop out for a while, so it definitely didn't hurt him. It wasn't good for him, but he's able to come right back and pick up the kill there on Alistar and just play the game excellently. It looks like everybody's banding mid. Elise is going to take advantage of this, looks like. But I do see what's going on here in just a second. Blue team pings to warn them, and there is three on the two. So we just push the lane a little bit, and Elise, she does ping, and she wants me to help kill the tower. But I see what's going on bottom, and I do want to help there. So they are getting pretty far in there. Uh, Kogma is still chasing. And Lux is able to alt, pick up the kill. Kogma still going in. And nope, we got the kill. Jax, or Jace with the bait. And Pantheon's running away. And I do believe this is it. We're not going to be able to catch them because they do end up quitting from the game. And that is good game. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm Chromon Rust. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And if you have any tips or ideas for my videos, please go ahead and post them in the comments. I do appreciate it. And all you guys, have a good day. And I am out.